What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we've got episode 10 of the 100 pieces of platinum challenge. I have got pieces number 25, 26, and 27 to show you all today and I'm excited about it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so piece number 25, 26, and 27 down for the books. I'm going to go ahead and show you all what I picked up and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit. So without further ado, we've got piece number one. That is a 1998 proof platinum American Eagle. One fourth ounce. Pretty epic piece for sure. 1998 proof. And then we also have a 2001 proof Platinum American Eagle. And the cool thing about proofs is each one has a different design on the back, which is super cool. And this is a quarter ounce as well. And then we also have a 2002 proof platinum quarter eagle. Now this one I think looks kind of funny because <laughs> the eagle, he looks like he's running on the ground, but I'm pretty sure that's water. And I'm pretty sure he's going after that fish right there. So fish, if you watch this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but... In all seriousness, it's a pretty cool background. You got the eagle swooping down, running across the water, getting ready to grab that fish. All three of these reverse designs really kind of scream America, you know? Like you got the desert on the back of that one, and you got, I think this is the east coast because the eagle is soaring to the left towards the coast. Um, and when I think of like coasts, I think of looking at it like on a map. Uh, but I'm going to have to look up where these locations are. This one seems like it's probably either New Mexico or Arizona. That one may be like Colorado or something, and this one might be the East Coast. But Platinum Proofs are really cool because they all feature a different design. Now, for this episode, I'm going to show you what I paid for each of these Platinum Proof quarter ounce eagles, and you are going to be blown away. So I got an amazing steal on these quarter ounce platinum proof eagles and I'm going to show you what I paid because it's just too good not to share. So we're going to go from the left to the right and we're just going to go all the way till we get right here. As you can see, I got three of them. Quarter ounce proof platinum American Eagle random year capsule only and the price so I picked these up from, from uh, I'll go ahead and show you, Atmex, as you can see there. I picked these up from Atmex. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Atmex, they charge way too much for their coins. In this case, no, they charged, <laughs> if you ask me, way too little. And I'm going to show you the price, but first I want to talk about why I didn't unbox it on the video. And the reason for that is, as you can see here, it says random year. So I picked up three random years. So I didn't know if they were going to send me all of the same year. So I figured I'd just go ahead and open the box, check the years, and then share it with you all if they ended up being all different years, which they all did. That is amazing that they all became the random year. So I'm going to show you what I paid for these, and you're just going to be blown away for quarter ounce platinum proof American Eagles. So I paid... 287 24 that is an incredible deal i have been on the hunt for quarter platinum eagles for a long time and i couldn't find anything below like 350 right you might find something at 325 but it's not going to go anywhere near 287 and they were proofs 
Now, one caveat is it was listed as capsule only. So there's no COA, there's no uh, box that it comes in from like the mint, but I bought them from Atmex, so I'm not worried about any like anything being fake or anything like that. And at the end of the day, they're quarter ounce eagles and I paid less for these than I would have just regular quarter ounce platinum eagles at 287. So as you can see, I got three. And the reason for that was I picked up all Atmex had. They had three in stock. I bought them instantly. And so I could honestly flip these for like 350 bucks each and make what? The 63, around 63 bucks per coin. So that would be like 63, 126, 189, $189 just from buying from Atmex and flipping for that much of a profit. That's insane. Now, I obviously won't do that because I am stacking platinum. I'm not just like in the flip game 24 7. I flip some pieces and stuff, but not that much. And so that was an insane deal that I just had to share with you all. Epic pieces. I got to say, these are probably my favorite pieces I have picked up for the challenge. Obviously, you've seen my 2018 one ounce proof and that's my favorite coin, but I didn't specifically pick that one up for the challenge. I just made that one of my starter pieces. I made all my one ounces my starter pieces and I've been stacking these fractionals ever since the challenge started. So yeah, guys, just goes to show you, keep your eye on Atmex. Don't sleep on Atmex. I know their premiums are bad. I know they offer bad deals. I know they overcharge, but at times you can find amazing steals. The best tip I can give for Atmex and really any dealer is find something kind of out of the ordinary, right? These are capsule only, okay? So, you know, capsule only means that Atmex did not get these from the mint. Somebody sold these to Atmex, I assume, unless Atmex just randomly lost the box in COA, which I highly doubt. So someone sold these to Atmex probably for a ridiculous loss and then Atmex just flipped them for a little bit of profit really quick. And so Atmex does that a lot. They, they, they price their stuff that's missing items and whatnot. Also, in one of my previous videos, I showed you my gold mercury dime. I actually got that from Atmex as well and it was listed as damage and it really didn't have really any damage. I mean and it cost less than a one-tenth gold eagle for a gold mercury. So Atmex is the best for random stuff that's either missing paperwork or whatever. And at the end of the day, we are stackers. We are not, well, some people are collectors and I don't hate on collectors and I have pieces that are highly numismatic, but at the end of the day, a lot of us are mainly stackers. So Epic pieces, guys. That wraps up episode 10 of the 100 Pieces of Platinum Challenge. That is piece number 25, 26, and 27 down for the books. And until next time, guys, we will see you.